Shaver 1000 here. Are you ready for the virus? Because I know I am. Stick around, I'll give you some tips on how to help survive this coronavirus that's going around. Okay guys, this is something that Monkey has to wear sometimes when she goes and, and uh, does one of her patients, you know, um, when she goes into their home or whatever. If they have any kind of, anything infectious, she has to wear this. Plus, they got the booties. I don't have the booties on. Uh, so, is this what it's going to take to survive this virus? Absolutely not. Besides, goggles fog up really easy. They just have air holes in them, but they don't work. But anyway, so here's the thing. You don't need this, all right? These these will help you. Masks, okay? Yes, these will help. Uh, do you need all this other stuff? No, you don't. Um, Here's the thing, guys. About two miles from our home, there has been two confirmed cases of the coronavirus. Um, and those confirmed cases were in a facility that her mother and father are in. So that facility is on lockdown, so she can't even go visit them. Okay? Uh... Yeah, within, I'm going to say it's about two miles, maybe two miles and a quarter, maybe a little less. It's right up the road here. Very close. Is it scary? Well, here's the thing. Yeah, you know, I'm a little concerned, but about surviving it, what's the best thing you can do? Stay home. Uh wash your hands do you know constantly wash your hands um, now what monkey always says is you should watch your wash your hands and sing happy birthday okay that's how long you should wash your hands wash your hands get some hand sanitizer use it don't go anywhere unless you have to if you have to here's a little tip Forget about the toilet paper, guys. I don't know what's going on with this toilet paper thing, but everybody, I've seen preppers on YouTube. I've seen survivalists on YouTube. First thing they're going out buying is a suburban full of fucking toilet paper. You can always find some to wipe your ass. You cannot drink that. You cannot eat that. What is it good for? Wiping your ass. You can always find something for that. You know, old rags, towels, wash rags, curtains if you had to. Okay? Um, you know, that's why well, you got to keep your hygiene. I understand about hygiene. You know, I mean, I'm a camper. You know, I used to go camp for two weeks at a time, and I was clean. Uh, no facilities around. You know, I boil my water out of the creek, whatever. There's ways you, you don't need to spend a bunch of money on that. That is a waste of time, resources, and space for other things that you can have. Buy some non-perishable items. Soups, you know, top ramen soups, um, chicken noodle soups in the little things, uh, canned foods, corns, beans. We are full of canned foods. We've got soups. Uh, you can also have meats. Yeah, you can buy chicken in the cans. You can buy uh, tuna. You can buy pork in the cans. Um, things like that. I don't foresee the electric electricity going out, but if it does, we are prepared. Uh, water, buy some water, okay? We have about four cases of water, okay? And uh, plus I've got like uh, four three-gallon water containers over there that are from the spigot. Um, we also have a water filter because we have well water here, so it's a little hard water. So I will filter it if we have to use any of that water. That's not a big deal. Uh, we have inverters, okay? We've got the tractor battery. 
we've got two deep cycle boat batteries we have the truck battery we'll be fine uh, we have plenty of gas for the truck in case we have to start truck up and charge a battery if the electric would go out I don't foresee that we have coolers because we do have some stuff in the freezer that uh, some meats you know that we've had in there uh, so if the electric would go out we would just have to keep an eye on it and if it starts thawing we're gonna have one hell of a big barbecue you know but our priority foods is stuff like I said non perishables we don't have to worry about it going bad uh, like I say coolers if it would I have a cooler that uh, once plugged in if something's already froze it'll keep it frozen and I know this because I had some popping water in it when I was having a yard sale one day and uh, I forgot to take them out well, I left it plugged in and uh, it ended up freezing them um, so I know you know if, the, if that would happen now we don't have a whole bunch of stuff because when this started you know the virus started uh, when we started hearing about it, we started, you know, buying water and buying stuff like that every time we went to the store. So, we're good on water, okay? We're good on food. If the electric goes out, we're good with that. I mean, we can, you know, we'll still have lights. I don't need a generator. And as far as cooking the food, if the electric would go out and we would have, we would absolutely have to cook the meat that we do have, um, you know, I've got that burn. I made for my peanuts you guys maybe go back and check that video out where I made the burner for the peanuts so I've got ways to cook that if need be I don't foresee that happening but if it does we are prepared for that okay um, I know how to make alcohol stoves uh, during Hurricane Irma I did a video on how to make an alcohol stove um, I've got uh, three full propane bottles uh, for that if need be um, it's not cold out now so I'm not going to have to worry about heat it's been hot here it was beautiful outside last night it got down in the 60s but it was beautiful uh, not a cloud in the sky nice little breeze so we don't have to worry about that we're in Florida so um, so also I can keep the cameras charged and update you guys on what's going on now they do, you know, they are locking down down the rest homes and, and you know, the uh, assisted living places. And like I said, this these two cases were in her mom's, uh, where her mom and dad are at. Um, so, you know, uh, that's close. That is really, really close, guys. But remember, um, like I said, the toilet paper thing, you know, why not buy some hand sanitizer, you know, um, some non-perishable perishable food items some water you know also have some pop always got some pop uh, she doesn't drink pops so I don't have a lot of it but I got I, I got enough pop uh, as like a little treat she's got some coffee I've got ways to make her coffee for her if need be if the electric would go out I, like I said I don't see foresee that happening but I am prepared for it uh, little tips and tricks like that the toilet paper yeah is it nice to have yeah but there's other things you can do for toilet paper you know that you know it's like if that happens if you got well water how are you gonna flush your damn commode anyway you know you got one time you know what I mean so let's use our heads here guys forget about that toilet paper and, and also they're they're buying uh, paper towels I don't know where you know everybody's at I know you're all from all over the place but down here in Florida where I'm at the in this county and a couple counties but down around here uh, especially in my town and a couple towns over around they were selling I got a light blinking they were selling m almost three times more toilet paper than they were anything else anything hand sanitizer food anything let me check my uh, memory card here. sorry about that guys I had a memory card blinking it was down to one minute I'm using Monkey's camera. I've uh, been using the past couple days, so I'm kind of using up her memory. Uh, already imported them onto my computer and onto an external hard drive. So they're backed up, so I just go ahead and delete my stuff off of here. She does the same thing. But anyway, back to it. Three times more, more toilet paper than anything else. Batteries, flashlights, knives, whatever. Three times more toilet paper. 
than anything else. That's crazy, you know. I mean, they are selling hand sanitizer. Don't get me wrong. They're limited. Uh, to, what is it? To uh, I know they had a couple places they had on sale two for a dollar. I think they're limited to two per person. Um, but the toilet paper, they're pretty much out everywhere around here. It's getting hard to find toilet paper. I mean, I, I don't understand why that would be such a necessity, guys. Uh, I don't I don't get it. Even the preppers are saying, uh, get the toilet paper, and they're loaded up, loaded up with toilet paper. I'm like, man, come on, you know. So it's going to get worse before it gets better. Uh, hopefully, you know, we don't lose many more lives because of this. And hopefully everything turns out well for everyone. But just stay safe, guys. You know, don't go anywhere unless you have to. And monkey's at work today. Um, what she does is she does the showers and the bathing. You know, the personal care. Um, so if it gets to a certain point, then... You know, she does not, she will not have to go in until some things subside, and uh, she can't lose her job over it. So, because she's not a nurse, she doesn't have to do that. Um, so, it's pretty close to that point. But I'm at home, I'm staying home. Uh, I went down yesterday, talked to a friend of mine uh, that was down here at the end of the street selling his stuff. And, uh, you know, he had one customer, he's getting ready to pack it in. This was uh, right around noon when I went down to see him. And he's getting ready to pack it in. He said, I'm going to give him about another half an hour, 45 minutes. He said, I'm out of here. He had one customer stop, and I don't even think they got out. They just kind of drove past and looked. And, uh, and it's this uh, virus everybody's scared. But at this time, you know, we didn't know. I didn't find out until last night that we have two confirmed cases right here in my little town, two miles from me. So, you know, just do all you can. <coughs> Cover your mouth when you cough. Uh, things like that, you know. Keep an eye on your temperature. Make sure you're not running a fever, you know. So, um, there's all kinds of things online. Be careful what you're watching, though, um, to, to help you prepare for something like this and help you stay safe. So, be, be you know, be sure to check it out if you're, if you're in doubt. But, like I said, those are the main things. Make sure you've got some hand sanitizer, some alcohol, some, you know, uh, even uh, peroxide, get some some things like that, you know, uh, maybe some aspirin. I'm stocked up on my meds, uh, you know, I'm good to go. I got my Coumadin, I got all that, so I'm good to go. You know, I don't have to get those for a while, so, you know, we don't have to go into the pharmacy. You know, you go into a pharmacy, you know, um, think about it. When you're sick, where do you go? Where do you go to get your meds? You go to a pharmacy usually, right? That's where you go. I mean, you know, people, you know, could have this virus and not even know it because how many people were, you know, was then taking care of those people, then go home, talk to their wives, husbands, whatever, and, uh, you know, their families come in to visit, give them hugs, and then, you know what I mean? Because it can take up to two weeks to find, you know, to start getting symptoms. So, you know, that's pretty scary because Monkey, you know, was just in there visiting her mom and daddy the other day. Because uh, she goes in and gets their clothes, brings them here and washes them for them and takes them back to them. You know, she visits with her mom and dad for a little bit. Um, so, you know, I mean, who knows? Who knows? Uh, it's, it is it is a little concerning. I am a little concerned about it. I, I mean, if I don't get it, I know I'm going to survive this. Um, I just hope neither one of us gets it. So, anyway, guys, please, please, take this seriously. Uh, this was not really a joke, per se, because... Uh, there are people that are going to be dressing like that to go somewhere to get a thing of milk, man. Don't worry about that fucking milk, you know. Don't worry about it, you know. Well, I need a pack of cigarettes. Stock up now. Go get you a couple cartons if you have to. If you can afford them. I know some people can't. Uh, I can't afford a carton of cigarettes. My, my a carton of my cigarettes is only $10. Uh, but I smoke less than half a pack a day. So I got a couple packs in there. I'm good to go. Um, but, yeah, seriously, wear masks. Uh, gloves if you have to who cares who cares if, if you have to you actually find out you know damn I, I really need to go get some stuff and I'm really concerned you know I heard about cases in my town or whatever don't be afraid to put on a mask don't be afraid to wear gloves screw them they laugh at you and say yeah you know yeah laugh at me when you're in the hospital trying to get well and I'm at home cool um, you know the outer part 
you don't need to wear it to booties you don't you don't need to wear that but a mask most definitely yes get you you know get you a good mask you know um you know they sell all kinds of them um get get something you know like that's for for the medical field um, don't just get you you know one of those masks that you wear when you're cutting wood you know building a bench or something uh yeah if you have to these gloves are cheap go get these gloves man uh wear them don't be afraid to no, I mean, if we have to go somewhere and it, it gets worse than this, or maybe even right now, if we would have to go somewhere, if I got to go somewhere, I'll probably wear a mask. You know, I'll put a mask on when I get in that truck, and I'll have it on, you know, when I get out of that truck, you know. Uh, I don't care what people think. You know, just stay safe. Take care of yourself, guys, you know, because remember, Shea Bear and Monkey, we care about you guys, and uh, we appreciate you watching. So with that being said, guys, again, stay safe let's be smart let's go through this together all right all right guys shea bear the myth the man a legend i'm gone for now thanks for watching and we'll see you soon bye bye now